Flex City family, what is up? It is Art and Bobby back on another snowy day. I don't know why, every day we're shooting now, it's snowing like crazy, but we're about to go into Aldi because I wanna do a healthy frozen food haul on Aldi. We've been kind of traversing the frozen food aisle at a lot of places lately, and boy oh boy, I am surprised at the frozen food game and how healthy it has been. Because when I grew up, when Art grew up in the 80s, it was not good. It was like Red Baron pizza and really garbagey food. Now it's pretty solid. So I'm hoping Aldi has some solid stuff. Let's get out of here. But before we do, like, subscribe, share, all those good things. Not only are we braving the blizzard and holding up people, <laughs> we have so much content going live every single week. You're gonna wanna push the bell icon below the video and enable all notifications because we got videos. We got that live stream on Friday called Hashtag Fridays with Flav and it's a lot of fun. All right, let's do it. Breaking news alert, this is not a drill. We're starting off the video with a bang, you guys. This must be a new product, because I did not see it last time. The ice cream game here is next level, and now it's even more next level, because they have keto ice cream. So what does that mean? They're saying five net carbs per serving. This is mint chocolate chip. So let's see the macros first. So total carbs are 17, fibers three, which gives you 14, minus the sugar alcohols. Yep, five net carbs. 21 grams of fat, but what are they doing for ingredients, right? I checked this out a second ago and pretty much everything's clean, but they're using natural flavors. And you know what? Sometimes I'm okay with that because this is such a unique item. They're using monk fruit. They're using cream. It's not organic, but you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometimes, you might be fine. You get what you need. Everything else looks decent. Look at this. Even the chocolate chips are no sugar added. Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Sorry, Art. Thank you so much. So this is very interesting. If I pick up the peanut butter fudge, it's the same kind of deal here, right? Everything looks really good. I wish it was organic cream, but I understand. And natural flavors, right? Wow, but very, very interesting because it's so hard to find. Low sugar, low carb ice cream. So the fact they have uh, natural flavors here, I'm okay because it's such a special item. But you guys, there's actually two amazing ice creams here. Let's say you want something a little lower fat, higher protein. The Aldi version of the Halo Top low fat ice cream is bananas too. Check this out. They call this Sunday Shop ice cream. And this one I believe doesn't have natural flavor. So this is vanilla bean and it's way less fat. The other one had 21 grams. This has two. A little more net carbs, we're talking 16 minus four is 12, minus five is seven. So seven net carbs for two thirds serving cup, same as the other one, that's a generous portion. But look at the ingredients, right? Pretty much the same. This one does have a little bit of uh, sugar in here. But we're talking a trivial amount and that doesn't have natural flavors and it still has some of the monk fruit in there. So this, you guys, at, look, $2.99, is an amazing deal. The keto ice cream is $3.99. Unfortunately, the mint chip ice cream does have a little bit of natural flavors, but you guys, these are cheaper versions, and I'd say actually better versions of Halo Top for way cheaper. Trader Joe's has that Trader Joe Joe's uh, high protein peanut butter ice cream that's pretty much on par, but keto and low fat ice cream with next level ingredients, high five Aldi, that is cool. All right, let's talk about frozen pizza. Always a very popular topic. We have a bunch of options here, but my eye immediately comes into the Simply Nature Organic. I'm a huge fan of that brand. And why I would go for this one above anyone else is when you see organic, that means a lot. When you see USDA organic, that means a lot, you guys. People can't cheat with that. There's huge penalties. And why I like that is because even though it's not whole wheat flour, which is fine, it's a pizza, right? It's organic, and this can be sprayed with glyphosate and Roundup because a lot of times conventional wheat is sprayed, so it dries or dies quicker. So I love that it's organic. Let me look at the rest of the ingredients here. Does anyone else see the one ingredient that kind of bums me out here? We have real cheese. We have cherry tomatoes. They're using organic sunflower oil, and we don't see the magical word expeller pressed. So it's still highly processed and highly refined, the fact that it's organic is nice, but you really want to see the expeller press. This is so close to being a Bobby approved, and there is sugar, but we're talking about, guys, less than one sugar, you know, a gram of sugar per a third of pizza. That being said, it's the best option here at Aldi. So if you want the best quality pizza, it's going to be this one. Now, if we go one door over here, there's alternative pizza options. There's the cauliflower pizza right here. Right now, don't be fooled. People see cauliflower like, oh, low carb, keto, boom, I'm gonna get it. No, let's go through it, right? It's cauliflower, so it's gonna be gluten-free probably. But look at the crust here. It's cauliflower, which is great. 
Cauliflower doesn't have to be organic, by the way. But the reason why it's not low carb is because the binder is, boom, white rice flour, boom, rice starch, and what else? A little bit of sugar, but we're talking literally, once again, less than one gram, so I don't mind that. So it's not low carb, but it is relatively clean. And then we look at the toppings here. We see cheese. Wow, so actually pretty, pretty clean, right? If it's, uh, it is gluten-free, it is starch-free, but the carbs are really high, but I don't mind that. I'd rather have the carbs than the gluten and the wheat. So this is actually pretty darn good right here. Whereas if you go to the one above it, the gluten-free pizza, if you're gluten-free, let's compare this one to the previous one. This is the Live G Free. So we got water, brown rice, tapioca, flour, rice starch. <laughs> so funny, they're doing a blend here of palm oil, highly processed shortening flakes, canola and olive, so it's like worst and best. And then the ingredients on the top are pretty clean. But guys, because this has the nasty oils, if you're gluten-free, I'd rather you go for this one here because it doesn't have those nasty oils that are highly processed. You're much better off getting that over this one. Now, punch in right here, Art. This looks interesting to me. This is a Mediterranean quinoa and chicken bowl. Sometimes these can be really clean. So let's see here. Obviously, it's not, not organic, which, you know, it's hard to find that here at Aldi. This is white quinoa and red quinoa, a great seed, basically. It's a superfood seed. Uh, we got chicken breast with rib meat. I'm okay with that. What else, what else do you guys see here? All vegetables. Wow, they use... Oh, see, once again, you ha this is why we read ingredients. They have canola oil. It's not non-GMO. It's not expelled or pressed. And they're also using olive oil. If they just use olive oil, it'd be so much better. We're going to see so many products today that are so close to being good. And if they just use olive oil, even better avocado oil, which none of the products here, they'd be approved. But they, to keep the price down, I use the cheaper canola oil. And they blend it with that uh, olive oil, which is such a bummer. Still, not terrible, but not ideal. This is pretty interesting. We're talking about frozen treats for the kids. And we've talked about this in our other hauls. These are very similar to Dr. Prager's, which are a little more expensive, I believe. These are just frozen bites and it's all vegetables and basically no filler, all thriller. And once again, I love if they used avocado oil or olive oil, but they're using expeller pressed canola oil. Is it non-GMO? Boom, that's great. It's non-GMO. So I'm totally fine giving this to your kids because even though it has some potatoes, it does have good, good-ish oils and good ingredients. And we're talking 349 here. That's what you want to see. Wow, there's a lot of really good stuff here. If we go down to veggie burgers, since we've done uh, videos here before, this is the best veggie burger they have here because the ingredients are all real, right? I love the fact that it's a whole superfood seed like quinoa mixed with brown rice, kale, expeller pressed canola oil is it non-gmo bomber see this one's not non-gmo but the rest of the ingredients are real and i don't see it right now but the other veggie burgers here don't use expeller press they use the uh, conventional canola oil so that's a bummer this is the best one they have in class here some people want to get in here let them go shopping then we'll come back what oh we're just doing it's not live what is it for yeah i'm sorry we can't do that Oh, okay. Bummer. Okay. All right. We got the boot, which is becoming a theme lately. I don't like this, but I bought the remaining items, and we might as well just go over them outside on this horrible, cold, wet day here in Chicago. All right. We talked about veggie burgers below uh, in the last scene, but also they have this quinoa, or as Art calls it, quinoa. quinoa, and this is clean. So here's the difference. Look at this. This one is simple ingredients. I love kale, I love quinoa, and they're not using canola oil, they're not using soybean oil, they're using olive oil, and the rest of the ingredients are very clean. So what I would do is buy this for a quick and easy dinner hack, warm it up, put a piece of organic chicken on there, or get my favorite uh, grass-fed beef here at Aldi, stir fry it up, put it on there, awesome, delicious dinner, right? Obviously I bought my paleo crisps. Now this is a great thing to have in the freezer, it's the avocado chunks. And the reason why I like it 
is because it's a great thing to throw into smoothies here. It has a little bit of citric acid and ascorbic acid. That's to preserve it so it doesn't go brown. But this is nice because even though I wouldn't use it fresh for guacamole, this is a ton of fiber. You can add it to a smoothie to make a superfood smoothie. And a nice side benefit of something like avocado, it's high in fiber. Foods that are high in fiber are called prebiotics because they feed the gut bacteria in your tummy. So this stuff is so good, so good for you. It's a healthy fat and I love it. And I'm very excited to drop that into some smoothies. And we talked about that kale veggie burger, right? Best in class. Now they are upping their meatless game here at Aldi. I don't know how Art feels about meatless, do you? Mm. So this is, uh, uh, thank you, I appreciate that, see? See, we got the fans rallying behind Flav City here even though we're getting the boot, right? Getting the boot, we got the fans behind us. This is a soy-based, so as soon as I see soy-based, I freak out, right? So I really, if it's gonna be plant-based, I'd like to see something that's uh, vegetable-based like pea versus soy. And then we see the other ingredients here natural flavors. They're actually using sesame oil, which is nice. But uh, see, if you're going to talk about something like uh, Beyond Burger, they don't use soy. Impossible Burger does. I'd rather you use a plant-based uh, material to make your burger. And all this stuff here that's plant-based, unfortunately, at Aldi, in my opinion, is not using good ingredients. And then we think of frozen food. We talked about pizza. We talked about burgers. Fries, right? We talked about a good fry at the Whole Foods Frozen Hall. Well, what about the fries here at uh, Aldi? Here's the deal. When you're talking about fries, it's a Dirty Dozen member. So do you see the word organic anywhere? No. So that's kind of a bummer, right? But what kind of oil are they cooking these in? Let's punch in here. So this is interesting, right? It's a combination of, oh my gosh, you don't see this very often, you guys. Canola, soybean, cotton seed. Holy cow, sunflower and corn. I've never seen that combo. That's a crazy combo with uh, some preservatives here and natural flavors. You guys, this ingredient right here, cottonseed oil, is to be avoided at all costs. It's so hard to see cotton oil in the store. If you think I talked about soybean oil and uh, canola oil is bad, this is even worse. It's the most highly uh, refined and processed agricultural oil with chemicals used to extract the oil from the cottonseed. Run, forest, run when you see this. So I would avoid this. If it was a better oil, like Expeller Press Canola and Organic potatoes, it'd be a lot better. So, but we got the haul done and made for a dramatic video, right? It's like uh, watching a drama on Netflix. We had the beginning, we had the climax of getting kicked out, and then we finish on a very dramatic Chicago snowy day. So you guys, that's it. I actually wanted to film another video afterwards because I saw a ton of new stuff here like uh, kefir and other stuff. Maybe we'll buy it and come back and take it home another day. Uh, but at least we talked about all the good frozen stuff and uh, all that jazz. So where else next, you guys? Leave comments down below. These videos are all for you. We get thrown out of stores all over, all for you. Like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing the way it has is by you spreading the love. But Art and I have two videos going below us right now. And we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love, and peace. Got our quarterback? Let's get out of here.